Hola guys, a quick one. Following my recent video upload, I used Test Sprite as the core tool for testing. In this project, a simple chat app, I want to demonstrate another equally important use case for Test Sprite. So, what is Test Sprite? Test Sprite is the easiest AI software testing agent for fully autonomous testing. The no code AI completes testing cycles in 10 to 20 minutes so you can ship with confidence without manual QA work. Now let's navigate to the docs page. On the docs page, we'll move to the MCP server IDE integration section and select the installation tab. On this tab, we first need to find the compatible IDE, which we already have. It's Cursor. By the way, Visual Studio Code also works fine. Next, we need to sign up. After signing up, you'll be welcomed by this modal. Click OK. Now, we're going to test locally using the MCP. All right, so let's continue. Over here is a clear self-explanatory set of steps to get started with Test Sprite. We first have to install it on our favorite IDE, which could be Cursor, Cloud Code, or other IDEs. So let's add it to Cursor and generate an API key later. Let's open Cursor and install. Here we have the name, type, and command. The only thing we have to do now is to set the API key. So let's move back to the dashboard and generate a key. Click on the new API key button and create a name. I'll call it chatbot. Upon creating the new API key, we have to copy it and paste it inside our IDE. And click on install. We'll wait for Test Sprite to install all of its packages. Finally, we copy the starting prompt and paste it inside our chat composer in Keza. So let's paste the command inside. Hey, help me test this project with Test Sprite. Now we have to wait for Test Sprite to sort things out and create a unique testing environment. At a point during the error test generation, Test Sprite opens a new tab for you to configure the test environment. On this page, we'll set the mode, scope, and port, and also upload the project specification document, PRD. We'll leave the mode as front-end and the scope as code base because we want to test the entire code base. The port will be 3000, and most importantly, the project specification doc. We already have one inside our project root directory. The project specification document is the blueprint of the app's technological nitty-gritty. It gives an overview of how the app works, how it should be used, design requirements, interaction requirements, and tech stacks. So let's upload the document and then click on continue. Now back to the IDE. We wait for Test Sprite to write the test cases for us. I will skip this part since it will take more time to complete. Now back to the dashboard. Under the All Test Cases tab, we can see the test results for the project. We have two test modules, one with 4 out of 10 passed and the other 0 out of 10. Let's open the 4 out of 10 pass module to check what it entails. Inside here, we see that send and receive message successfully is passed api failing gracefully is passed and a couple of other tests are pending like conversation history and dark mode style since we haven't added those to our app yet responsive design failed so what we are going to do right now is copy the running test and the failed test into our cursor ide and ask it to implement those and rerun the test. Now we wait for a while for this to run. Cursor tries to fix this and rerun the test for us. On the dashboard, we can expand the test module and see that the test is running. Now that the test is complete, we can expand it and review the details of how it was run. Let's select the send and receive message successfully test. Here we have a preview showing how Test Sprite AI executed the test on the website and received a response. 
marking the test as passed. We can also review the code. Here is a Python script that outlines the steps and procedures used to test this specific functionality. Next, let's move on to a failed test. Handle AI, API, failure gracefully. This test did not pass, but we can expand it to view more details. Expanding shows us a video preview, the corresponding code, and an error message displayed beneath the preview window. The message rates, application allows sending messages and displays them immediately with correct styling and timestamps. It also provides additional error details. From here, we can report the error back to Keza IDE. Simply copy the description and paste it into the IDE. Once the issue is fixed, you can ask test sprite to rerun the test until you achieve a full 10 out of 10 pass rate. I won't go through every rerun in this video since that would make it too long. But now that you understand the flow, you can try it on your own. And this is where the real learning happens. Test Sprite also offers a one month free starter plan. So you can start using the app immediately to make a big impact on your project, save valuable time and build a solid, robust application. Upon a successful test run, we will get a pass. I'll end the video here and ask you to comment below another use case of testing you want me to cover. Anyway, the app works because we use the Gemini API key to create a simple chatbot. The source code is in the description.